just came out to move this hive, the rainbow hive, to a sunnier spot. And when I took off the enclosure for the Klaus Dome, I noticed that there's a bee down here doing a waggle dance. Let's see if I can get it. There's another one. So they're sharing the information. Now the news is spreading. And there's a bee there on the left doing an emphatic waggle dance. And another bee just over to the far right doing a waggle dance. They are such fascinating creatures. Yes, we know you're a prodigious climber. Nice demo, kiddo. Our purpose today is to move the balloon hive here and her sister, the rainbow hive, about two and a half feet to the west so that they will get the full morning sun through a little break in the cedar trees. This is not going to be too difficult for me because these are just single deep hives with klaus domes on top. I just need to remove the klaus dome surround and leave the dome in place while I move each of the hives. So that makes it easy and uh, pretty painless for the bees, except that the rainbow hive doesn't really know it's the rainbow hive because its entrance is on the back side and it flies into a blank pale green hive box. Whereas all the other hives in the apiary have something painted on the front. This hive doesn't really know that. So I'm concerned that when these girls try to fly home after their home is moved, they're going to be pretty confused. I should also mention that this little segment of video came from February, and it's now April, and that's why there's snow on the ground. This is an old video. That was a very easy switch for me. I already had another bottom board that I could switch it over to, so I didn't have to worry about trying to keep it all intact. And there's also a slatted bottom board. That pink piece of wood there is surrounding a slatted bottom board which helps them with ventilation and gives them a little more space inside the hive during the summertime. My plan is to move them not quite three feet from where they were previously, both of these hives, and make sure that they're all securely strapped down and then make another move over to that back fence where they'll be in the sun. So we'll let them sit here for about 10 days until they're accustomed to their new location and everyone has found the new location. Hopefully they'll find that within a very brief span of the time. The balloon hive doesn't even notice that I've done a thing because I kept the entrance on the same side of the hive. They are all perfectly fine in here. And adding that one frame with a little bit of brood and a little bit of honey seems to have made a big difference in the prosperity of the balloon hive. I changed the entrance for the rainbow hive so that they will get full sun in the morning. So as you'll see, they're pretty frustrated right now trying to find the way in to their hive. I hope you can hear the normal buzzing of the balloon hive. Because even though they're several feet away from their old entrance, and still some of them are seeking it, they're finding it much more easily, and they're not worried. Meanwhile, Back at the Rainbow Hive, things are not going quite as well. They're trying to figure out where their front door is while singing, On the back of the rainbow, that's my door. They'll keep circling in expanding circles until they do find their home, but they need to completely reorient their internal GPS so that they can find that their home is somewhere under the rainbow. 
We have one worker here. Oh, she finally figured it out. She was wandering around with that bright red pollen on the top. And I have to make sure when I close this up that there are no bees flying around in there because if there are, they'll get stuck and they will die. We can't let that happen. Meanwhile, somewhere under the rainbow, things are looking better. Fanning or no fanning, they are clearly finding their new entrance, becoming accustomed to their new location, and finding their way into their hive. And once again, the balloon hive is just kind of standard operating procedure. No worries, no confusion, and it's all because the entrance remained on the same side of where it was as where it was before I moved them. But yeah, this is settling down nicely. God is good. The next morning, I came out to see if there were a bunch of dead bees back where the hives had originally been, and I only found three dead bees. But then I went back and looked at the video I had made the day before, and I saw that those dead bees were already there. I had also found a pupa that the worker bees, the nurse bees, had apparently rejected and removed from the hive. And on close inspection, you can see that that little incipient worker bee did not have one of her eyes. So that's probably why they deemed her unacceptable. And I think I owe you an explanation about these strange hive stands that I use. You can find shower seats and toilet chairs at the thrift stores pretty inexpensively. They cost less than a hive stand would and they're adjustable. They have four legs that adjust separately so if you have uneven ground like we do in the hill country they work out pretty well and they're certainly durable. They last for years. And now all of my girls get morning sun. Don't you love it?